match box and a spoon. I will light the candle and place the spoon on top of the flame. After a few seconds, we will observe that the spoon turns black. Just imagine if a flame from a small candle can turn a spoon black, can then the smoke from vehicles, factories and crackers can harm our environment so much. So we should save our environment by carpooling, by not burning crackers, by using CNG, by building factories in rural areas.
and uh, now we can see five layer tower is formed and we can also see high density uh, high density um, liquid remains below and uh, low density liquid remains at top without missing each other water two glasses an egg salt spoon first i will take two glasses of water then now i will add four to five spoons of salt Now I will mix it slowly slowly Now we will put an egg in each of the glasses You will notice that uh, in normal water egg is sinking because the uh, density of normal water is less than the egg whereas in salt water egg is floating because density of salt water is higher than the egg i need to salt to add two glasses water and one spoon and first glass What are you doing, Anbi? Oh, I am planting some seeds in this pot. So, when the seed will grow, it will give us oxygen. These are the few ways by which we can save earth. The 
things required are a pan filled with a water and plastic spoon and steel spoon. You can see I will put the steel spoon and plastic spoon both in the water. Steel spoon will sink and plastic spoon will float. This is because the density of plastic spoon is less than water density and the steel spoon density is more than water density. So here I conclude lighter, heavier things sink, lighter things float. Become soft and finally melts, while the butter on the plastic spoon stays firm. When one object transfers heat to another, it is called conduction. Metal is a very good conductor of heat. This is why the butter on the steel spoon. Spoon, baking soda, balloon, and vinegar. Now I take balloon and Put the and put the baking soda in the balloon. Now I put the balloon on the water like this. carbon dioxide gas is produced. I have one glass filled with hot water and another glass filled with ice cold water. Now I put few drops of food color in both the glasses. We will observe that the food color in hot water mixes properly and quickly, but it does not mix properly in the cold water because the molecules in hot water move faster, but the molecules in cold water move slowly. and two glasses of water. 
I will add salt in first glass and pepper corn in second glass. I will still pour the mixture. After some time, you will see the salt is not visible and pepper corn is visible. They are so they insoluble in water. They lighter than water. So they float on the top. This is how I respect my mother nature. Buy, reuse, recycle and reduce. Recycle my glass pots by making them plant pots. Recycling them. I use the sea sauce for my yummy yummy drinks and not the plastic straws. This is when I when I get out of the room I close the lights. This is how I respect the electricity. Bye bye. Hope you do the same. First, I will push the glass upside down in the water. We will see the glass is still dry. Why? Because the air was filled in the glass and the water could not enter it. Now again, I will push the glass upside down but slightly tilting it, air bubbles will start rising up in the water. Now we will observe that air is coming out in the form of the bubbles which proves that air is present in water. I will need two bottles and two balloons. We will make a tiny hole in one of the bottles as we can see here. Then we will Attach the balloon to the bottle's rim. Then we will try to inflate the balloon which is attached to the bottle which doesn't have a hole. It will not be able to inflate because it is still occupied in the bottle and the air is not letting the balloon to inflate and the balloon is not able to take place and inflate as we can see here. The balloon is not able to inflate but if we see in the other bottle, the balloon is able to inflate because the air is escaping through the tiny hole for the balloon to have space and inflate as we can see here. The balloon was able to inflate as we can see here. The balloon got inflated. So this action proved that air occupies Tiny tissue paper, tissue paper, glass and bowl. Then I will put tissue paper inside the bottom of the glass. Then I will place the glass inside down. Without taking, without taking it, then I will lift the glass. Then I will remove the glass. We will observe that. We observe that. We observe that. Tissue paper is still dry, which proves that air ejects pressure. We need two glass bottles, two glass containers, two balloons, and one cold water and hot water. Put the balloon in 
Now see the reaction bubble is created. Because milk is made up of vitamins, proteins, minerals and fats. When we add soap to the milk, it bursts proteins and fats of the milk and creates bubbles. Is chemical reaction between milk and soap. I need a pale orange and unpeeled orange water and a big container. I'll fill the, I'll take a container filled with water. Now I drop the pill orange and unpeeled orange in the water. You'll notice that the pill orange sinks and unpeeled orange flows in water. This is because the orange drink is very porous and filled with tiny pockets of air. Does it retain air? The air bubble gives the orange a lower density than the surrounding water causing it to float. Whereas pale orange seems to be more heavier and denser. What are you